my, my. It's that time again. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God, we thank you for allowing us to come together and study your word together. We thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. Lord, we bless your name at all times. And we ask that you allow your Holy Spirit to manifest himself anywhere this little broadcast is being played, Lord, uh, that we might get an understanding out of your word and that we might grow in you so much so that we're able to tell the world about the goodness of you and about your son Jesus and your Holy Spirit. Father, this we pray in the mighty name of your son Jesus and the Holy Ghost is our witness. And all of God's children said amen, amen, and amen. Greetings to you, my brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord and Savior and indeed our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Welcome to 7 Minute Kingdom Building. I'm your host, CL Champion. This week, our topic is Somehow I've Made It. Whew, my Lord. Uh, first, I want to thank you all for all the prayers and, and well wishes and acts of love during my convalescence. I'm still working on this. Uh, I see the doc tomorrow, and we'll see what does serve the Lord about, uh, you know, regarding that surgery and what's in the future for this old arm here. Praise his holy name. Let's jump right in, shall we? Um, if you would, turn to your Bibles, the book of Daniel, chapter 6, verse 26. And our subtopic for tonight, through it all, God brought me through. Verse 26 reads, I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God and steadfast forever, and his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be even unto the end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's word for God's people. Through it all, God brought me through. Let me tell you all something. Uh, my beloved sister Gwen is fond of singing a song. That said, somehow I made it. Through it all, God brought me through. Now, when I think to this, this particular passage of Scripture, we look at this story. Go back and read Daniel chapter 6 from the beginning. When I think of this passage of Scripture, and look at how the jealous presidents and princes set old Daniel up. Even was clever enough to swoon the king, Darius, into setting a trap inadvertently for Daniel. Now, this passage speaks abundantly to the old adage we used to hear in the old church of throwing rocks and hiding your hands, and digging ditches in the night. And uh, uh, they, uh, they say if you dig one ditch, you better dig two because the ditch you dug just might be for you. Uh, all of that stuff. So this, speak, this passage speaks abundantly to that. So now the trap was set for Daniel. And um, as some folks would say, Daniel walked in flat-footed, uh, and the punishment was being thrown into the lion's den. A uh, uh, certain death is what it boiled down to. And when they came, they charged that Daniel had broken the king's decree. They tossed him in to the den. They put the stone over the den. The king sealed it with his own signet, his own stamp, and then he had the stamps of his lords and the king couldn't eat all night long. Didn't allow any music to soothe his woe. Sleep, <laughs> that was the furthest thing from him. But early that next morning, he ran to the lion's den. Scriptures say he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, Oh, Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lions? See, if you go back into that story, you'll see where the trap was that you couldn't offer a prayer to any man or any God for 30 days. And they knew Daniel was going to pray to the Lord three times a day, and he didn't hide it. When you stand for Jesus, do not hide it. Do not be shamed. Whatever comes your way, you know that God will fight your battle. Hallelujah. And through it all, whoo, God will bring you through. So now... Daniel told the king, hey, king, live forever. God sent his angel. He shut the lion's mouth. The lions haven't hurt me because God found that there was innocence in me. And before thee, O king, I have done no hurt. So in other words, just because you wrote it down that I, nobody can pray unto any other man or unto, unto God, I wasn't doing it against you. But I must serve my God, my God who sent me, my God who delivers me. My God who provides for me. I have to do what does saith the Lord. So look at here. 
Darius, the king, went ahead and had Daniel removed from the lion's den. And then he commanded that the very men, those presidents, those princes who conspired to get rid of Daniel, who did their dirty work in the dark to put Daniel into the lion's den to cause his death, says the king cast those very men into the lion's den. Not just them, though. He cast their children into the lion's den. He cast their wives into the lion's den. And then the scripture says the lions had the mastery of them and break all their bones in pieces. In other words, the lions ate good. Why? Because you put your family in jeopardy. Because you went against God. They knew who Daniel's God was and is. But no, they were jealous. They had to fight him. They had to come against him. And then the king wrote to all the people, all the nations, all the languages, everybody that was under his influence, and told them, look at here, uh, everybody, all of y'all, fear the, the, the God of Daniel. Tremble before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God, and steadfast forever in his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall even be unto the end. Who, my Lord. Family, look, that's all, I can, that's all I can bear tonight to tell you tonight. Join us this week as we go further into the word of God. Somehow, I made it. Who, through it all, God brought me through. Hallelujah to your name, God. Father, we thank you. We thank you for life, health, and strength being as well as it is. We thank you for your son, Jesus, and his sacrifice on Calvary. We thank you for your Holy Spirit who here to guide us and to, to give us comfort. Lord, we thank you for your word. We praise your holy name at all times. Thank you, Father. We ask that you bless our coming and our going and allow us to be able to spread your word as far as we can reach. And then let those who receive your word, let them spread it even further. Father God, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we thank you. We love you. Thank you. In Jesus' most holy name we do pray, and the Holy Ghost is our witness. And all of God's children said amen, amen, and amen. Family, God bless you. God keep you is our prayer. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Somehow I made it through it all. God brought me through. God bless you. See you tomorrow.